Hi, it's Tanya here and in this session we're focusing on the Reckon APS Exceed Professional Accounting balancing forward to a new financial year. We are going to cover how to back up the ledger before completing the balance forward process, understand when you'd want to perform the balance forward, understand the impact of keeping historical balances and transactions, understand the options in relation to financial reporting fields and budgets upon the balance forward, and understand how profit distribution will work in a discretionary trust for balance forward. Let's get started and get straight into the ledger. Firstly, we must remember the periods that you have in your ledger. Remembering that you have not only the current year, but you also have the year of grace. So if you've got a periodic ledger, you could have 4, 8, 12, 24 periods here. So you are able to work, in this case if we're finishing the 30th of June 2016 accounts, I don't need to balance forward the file because I can also go into period 2 and start processing. It's probably more closer to when you're finishing the second period of the interim processing that you would actually go back and close and finalise and balance forward your 2016 year in this example. Obviously, before you roll forward, you'd want to make sure that uh, all the transactions have been captured, posted, all the assets have been entered, and you're ready to go. We do recommend that your first thing that you do would be to back up the file, and that's done through the Save As option. When you create a new Save As, it will ask you to create a new copy. And in our case, we want to create the 2017 file. So we're actually going to roll forward the 17 file. It's going to ask you to link this file to the new client ledger. We'll say no at this point so that we can set up the new link to the new matter in this instance. I've actually now created a copy of the 26 file and put it into another ledger called 2017. Now that I'm in my 2017 ledger, I can go into the file details and simply adjust my internal name reference to reflect that it's now the 17 year. When I'm ready to proceed, I'll go into the balance forward option from the file menu. When you balance forward the ledger, you're asked the number of years balance history to retain. Exceed Professional Accounting does allow you to do five year balance reports. So if you'd like to take use of the five year balance reports, then make the number of years balance history to be five years. If you want to keep it further than that, you are able to keep up to 10 years balance history. The number of years transaction history to retain. Remembering when you're in your trial balance, you can drill down to the general ledger for any account that you've clicked on your trial balance. So as a minimum, you might have the current and one back. Or in this case, typically what we've seen is clients will pick five years balance history and perhaps the last two years transactions. If we've been using budgets, then we have the options to copy the budgets from this year to next year, as well as the year of grace. And the financial reporting fields. You have the option by default to copy this year's reporting fields, year zero, to the new year, and it overwrites any current year of grace values, or copy only text and memo fields from this year to the new year. So depending on your ledger and how far you've processed your year of grace will depend on the copies that you want. And you can also copy the current year of grace to the next year of grace. You'll now be pr prompted through a series of questions and it will depend on the state of your ledger. So it will ask you, have all entries have been completed for the year? Have all reports been printed? We suggest that you do print and save an XPA, sorry, a PDF copy of all your financial reports. Each year we produce a different set of masters. Those masters might change the reports from one year to the next depending on the reporting requirements. So we suggest that you save your reports as you've produced them. If you have a profit distribution for a trust, a discretionary trust, it will come and confirm the profit distribution that you had created in your accounts. If you make any changes at this point, it will obviously affect the financials that you've just created. So you would say OK. 
and it will now confirm whether what you're doing. We're balancing forward the ledger and it's retaining the five and two years history and setting the financial reporting fields. This action is now complete. If you have a look at your trial balance, you'll be able to see the 2017 year and you have now a new year of grace. If you look at your trial balance, we will still have the drill through options available here to drill into the general ledger for the previous year. The last thing that we need to do is now to complete the link for the new matter and for the year that we've just created. So for our 2017 Purple Family Trust, we simply right click here and edit the ledger links. We will put that into the Purple Family Trust and this time we will select the relevant matter for the year that we want to link that through to. That now completes your ledger balance forward process. So we've successfully completed a backup prior to the balance forward. We've completed the balance forward process and understood each of the options relating to the historical balances and transactions, financial reporting fields, budgets and profit distribution for a discretionary trust. For more information on your profit distribution, please refer to that course for profit distribution. If there's this or any other questions that you'd like, please refer to your workbook and we thank you for your time.